This is the king, a good shepherd to all of us. And this is the message today that the Lord is, is the good shepherd. And that's in the mission that we are going to discover today in order to understand how Jesus reminds us that he is the good shepherd. Anyone who belongs to me, he is part of me, Jesus said to all of us. And that's important that how can we became more aware about this moment of thanksgiving, this moment of grace, that the Lord is going to tell us today that He is with us. And let us start it in order just to celebrate this special thanksgiving. And Jesus said to all of us, I am the Good Shepherd. How can Jesus become a good shepherd to all of us? And this is uh, the exhortation today. Let us uh, start it, this moment of Thanksgiving with this beautiful message. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and my know me. This is the message that we need to understand how Jesus Christ is the Good Shepherd. And how even today Jesus reminds us that through, the, through this different special celebration that we belong to, to be part of this moment of Thanksgiving, say, Lord, you are my shepherd, you are part of me. And in order just to know that I am the one, the one who listened to you and we would like to follow your steps. How can Jesus become a good shepherd? According to the St. Gregory of Great, the Pope, and his homily 14, Christ the good shepherd. He wrote this beautiful statement to all of us in order to keep it this special um, blessing and to be aware. I am the good shepherd. I know my, my own by which I mean I love them. And my own know me. In plain words, those who love me are willing to follow me. For anyone who does not love the truth has not yet come to know it. My dear brethren, you have heard the test we pastors have to undergo. Turn now to consider how these words of our Lord imply a test for yourselves also. Ask yourselves whether you belong to his flock. Whatever you know him, whatever the light of his truth shines in your minds, I assure you that is not by faith that you will come to know him, but by love, no merely conviction, but by action. John the Evangelist is my authority for this statement. He tells us that anyone who claims to know God without keeping his commandment is a liar. And then Gregory the Great added this. Consequently, the Lord immediately aids. As the Father knows me, I know the Father, and I lay down my life for my sheep. Clearly, he means that lay down his life for his sheep gives evidence of his knowledge of the Father, of the Father's knowledge of him. In other words, by the love with which he dies for his sheep, he shows how greatly he loves his father. And this is important to all of us. And now, how Jesus is still is a good shepherd to all of us. And God reminds us to Concepcion this beautiful feast for the Apostle of the Cross. One twenty-five hundred years ago, God spoke to Concepcion, and then Jesus inspired Concepcion say, Through this cross of the apostolate, please. I would like to, to express my kindness, my love, and I am going to continue to take care of my sheep. And you will be my instrument like a good shepherd to me. I am the good shepherd, and you can be a good shepherd to those people in this moment, in this time, in this era, and this experience, according to the spirituality of the cross. And let us, how God tell Concepcion in order to be a good shepherd. I am going to read to you this beautiful statement in November 3, 8, 1890, 
95 in order just to recover again this beautiful celebration that we have in this special day 100, one, 120, 125 years ago Concepcion received the inspiration from the Lord in order just to bring new tidings to the to, to the community and tell the community that I am with you my father sent me to you and sharing to you this new spirituality and you are going to receive through the Holy Spirit and the Holy Trinity is present in this beautiful cross and that's why the Apostle of the cross today after 125 years they celebrated the, the existence of the merciful God and Concepcion wrote it this the cross is the building the perfection therein are all the mysteries the gifts the fruits and the Holy Spirit the three theological virtues are represented in the most holy trinity that he, that is there in the path which he represents is precisely in his divine heart on the cross and love and on the cross and there is almost no one to teach that multitude of souls who run alone to other twice the roads which all undoubtedly lead them to the pre precipice the world will follow the path of its exteriorities and comfort and the true way entirely opposed to the maximums of the world and to the corrupted nature that is precisely why it's appeared to this world in these ill-fated times a last resort perhaps the beautiful cross of the apostle of the ship there with external signs so that it can be easier for them to penetrate is what souls need love un until or united with suffering on that cross is the wild trace ties of the virtues and the three created ways the purgative the ultimate the illuminative and the unitive this is something very important that we need to consider today how our lord is saying I am the good shepherd and I am sharing through this spirituality my kindness, my love, my protection, my guidance. And this is something important that we need to consider in this beautiful moment that how our Lord as well as St. Gregory the Great remind us that Jesus is a good shepherd. And I am going to share it to you in, even in the, in the diary from Concepcion in 6 251 this beautiful statement about this spirituality about this cross from the fruits of the second intellectual vision which she is favor she shares within two or three days of the vision during the afternoon in the same church of the company oh happy afternoon once again suddenly i see white dove in the mid of gray light of gray fire like rains of light but of light almost white very clear bright in the center of this light was a dove very white also with our stretched wings and below it at the bottom of that immersed light a large very large cross with a heart in the center from where their arm split it seemed to float and twice light of cloud with fire inside thousands of rays of light departed from the cross which were not confused with the wild light of the dove nor with the fire of the clouds conception reminds us this beautiful statement that everything that we are going to receive is first of all we are going to receive the light that's why jesus said when he destroyed the dead i am the light and that's the moment that even St. Paul, when he has the encounter with Jesus, he, he saw a very profound light, a very bright and light. And then he saw Jesus as well as St. Faustina. St. Faustina reminds us that when she saw Jesus for the first time, it's a very profound light, as well as Concepcion said. And the moment that I saw this cross, first of all, it's a profound light, a plenty of rays, but it's a beautiful light. Invite me and open my mind, myself, my feelings, my emotion, my intellect, and I surrender myself to God. And this is beautiful. How our Lord reminds us today 
through this beautiful gospel that Jesus is the good shepherd and how Jesus is still unto us today is through this spirituality. He still is a good shepherd to all of us. Even Concepcion wrote another text is going to help us, help us in order to be more aware about this beautiful celebration that we have as a good testimony after 125 years of the existence of the Apostle of the Cross. And thanks be to this spirituality, thanks be to this symbol that Concepcion received from Jesus. And she wrote this, each divine person plays a key role in this spirituality of the cross that facilitates the means for the divinizing process of the person. Therefore, it is very important to continue to explore in the presence of the Trinity from the sacred scripture and from the message and writings for Concepcion. And he wrote this, the redemption in me, God's man, has as a goal to bring all the souls to divinity, to fuse them in God, to deify them. It was man created for the it was not man created for the earth, but for heaven, for God to play with him. And that is why the incarnation of the world to bring the human to the divine, to draw man to the holy, to the sublime, to the top, to the same divinity. One of the purpose of my father is crucifying me was with the price of my blood that purify to attach humanity through the cross to heaven. I came to earth driving by love to divinize men, to unify him in me and through me. Visible, take him to this invisible divinity. The soul is so great because it carries that divine seal, the immortality to divine image. And it was as a goal to sink into the divinity. My father, with the most sublime act of his, of his charity, gave me the world to bring souls to him and to form in my union one heart with him and in him. You will see if this the desire of my father or infinite charity will be nothing by love to crucify me for the sake of the Trinity. We will say for this glory in the sense that all things will return to the perfection, to the, to the unity of the Trinity. We can discover this in 61. And also, Concepcion reminds us another text is going to help us in the Apostle of the Cross. And I am going to conclude it with this first conclusion in order to celebrate this special day 120, 125 years that exists and how Jesus is a good shepherd through this spirituality for thousands and millions of peoples around the world. In many different places we have the Apostle of the Cross and that's why we're sharing with you these blessings. And I am going to share with another text and Concepcion wrote, says this, the cross alone causes fear to the world by the cross with my heart attracts. The cross that persists through my heart is planted in flames. How can it not be hot? How can it not embrace however touch it, curse it, and get kneel to it? And my cross comes to wake up for the error, to push them completely, the world of love and suffering united, so that nothing only those souls flourished, spreading their estent by fear, fruit for my glory and for an eternal life. Concepcion reminds us to all of us, it is through this beautiful spirituality, we can increase the knowledge. That's why I started the first text, how it is the meeting, the whole cross. And, and the second text was where, how Concepcion starts saw this, this cross. And he's, she said, first I saw the light. I mean, I saw the, the essence of the Holy Trinity. And then the Holy Trinity disclosed myself to me, first of all, with the presence of the Holy Trinity, second, the clouds, the Father, and then the, the Son. And this is beautiful how Jesus tells us to all of us that through the Holy Trinity, we can survive. That's why Jesus said, I am no alone, my Father is in me, and I am in my Father. Even brothers and sisters, let us be back to the through St. Gregory of Great, how he disclosed 
himself to us in order to increase our knowledge about how Jesus is the good shepherd to all of us. Conception, through this spirituality of the cross, became a good shepherd to all of us. And not only to the apostles of the cross, but also to the sisters of the cross. Not only for the sisters of the cross, but also the chain of love. But also not only the chain of love, also for the fraternity, for priests, but also for the missionaries of the Holy Spirit. And another community is, is belong to the same spirituality. Thanks be to this good shepherd that we have. Conception is a good shepherd through this century. And that's why you need to discover your priesthood, and your king and your prophet. As a prophet, as a king, and as a priest, you need to celebrate your life. And that's why Conception gave us this beautiful sign today. I am still alive and my different kinds of service that, that I did and they represent me in the world as well as represent the essence and the substance and the supreme even source that will receive the spirituality of the cross is from Jesus, from the Father and from the Holy Trinity. And even St. Gregory said this, again I said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them. They follow me and I gave them eternal life. Shortly show, show, before this he had declared, if anyone enters the sheepfold through me, he shall be saved. He shall go freely in and out and shall find good shepherd and good pastures. He will enter into a life of faith from faith he will go out to vision from belief to contemplation and will ingress in the good pastures of everlasting life. And this is the second conclusion. So our Lordship will finally reach the, the grazing ground where all who follow him in his implicity of heart will feed of the green pastures of eternity. Through this cross, we can receive these new pastures came from heaven through the writings of the Con Concepcion Cabrera. It is so amazing how our Lord disclosed himself through Concepcion and through the Holy Spirit, God inspired her and wrote many good, beautiful texts in order to enlighten us and to keep it. This new food came from heaven in order to feed us our own hunger, in order to receive a new alignment, in order to be more aware of our, our own process, our own even transformation as a good likeness of God. This is the, the, the experience that we need to enjoy and to celebrate today. Thanks be to the Apostle of the Cross. And I give you thanks to all my sisters and brothers who belong to this spirituality because you are my brothers and you are my sisters and this is spirituality of the Cross because my mother is the same mother that you have. Conception is your mother and I am your brother as a priest. And thank you to all of us. These pastures said, St. Gregory, are the spiritual joys of heaven. There the elect looks upon the face of God with unclouded vision of feast or the banquet of life for every, forevermore. This is the third conclusion. Beloved brothers and sisters, says St. Gregory, let us set out for these pastures where we shall keep joyful festival with so many of our fellow citizens. May they thought of their happiness argue us on. Let us stir up our hearts, recline our faith and long eagerly for what heaven has its thoughts for us. To love thus is to be already on our way. No matter what obstacles we encounter, we must not allow them to turn us aside from the joy of that heavenly feast. Anyone who is determined to reach his destination is not deterred by the rashness of the road that leads to it, nor must be allowed the charm of success to succeed us, or we shall be like a foolish traveler who is so distracted by the pleasant mid walls through the through which he is he is passing that he forgets where he is going. Brothers and sisters, if we don't Pay attention about this beautiful moment that we have, thanks be to this pandemic, we are out. It, through this pandemic, we don't use it as a new tool in order to even to go deeply in our souls, in order to analyze how can enlighten myself. And God said to all of us, I already give you this spirituality. You can go back to your history in order to 
make a reconciliation in order to increase yourself also to increase yourself with other people and that's why i i invite you constantly to say all the people is going to help you as concepcion cabrera as san elizabeth and Sita, as well as san gregory the great or as well as san faustina thousands of people god is already send us in order just to receive a new pasture a new food a new even testimonies through those testimonies we can feed us our own questions in order to increase our own relationship with the with the cosmos with the planet as well as with the holy trinity may god bless you and keep you your body and your soul with pure and be a good shepherd and i am going to conclude with this beautiful text from saint john 14 15 said the good shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep has raised from the dead for the sake of, of the flock he willingly suffer death and that's why concepcion a, a year ago tomorrow will be a year ago when god said i called you rise again to the whole church you are a good shepherd and through your spirituality of the cross you became a good instrument to all of us rise and you will be a good shepherd with me and conception became a year ago a new testimony that fulfilled that this beautiful text god rise for the whole church that she is really a good example to follow as a good mother and as a good spiritual mother this lady help us to be aware of our own our lives Christ as a Passover has been sacrificed for the sake of the flock he will not need to suffer death hallelujah that's why even Concepcion she became and offered her life in order to promote eternal life a divine life a new process to use it in order to transform ourselves in order to be who we are the alignment of God a new people of God a new sons and daughters jesus through conception remind us to recover our own dignity our own lineage. may god bless you and bring you peace to you and be part of this process of your divinization the lord be with you and with your spirit and i invite you to consecrate ourselves today to the holy trinity but especially through the this prayer to consecration of the holy spirit oh holy spirit receive the perfect and complete consecration of my whole being in my actions grant me the grace of being in my life my guide my strength and the love of my heart i surround myself to you and i ask of you the grace to be faithful to you to inspirations i surrender myself to you and i ask you the grace to be faithful to your inspirations holy spirit transform me through mary and with mary into image and true image of Christ in Jesus for the glory of the Father and the salvation of the world. Conception reminds us, if you surrender yourself to God, God is going through you, bring you a new, a new food to other people. May God bless you and give, keep you, your body and your soul with pure. And may the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all. And happy anniversary, all the brothers and sisters who belong to the Apostle of the Cross. Bless you all. And I will pray for you and offer the Mass for you. Bye-bye.